from Menlo Park, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE, covering CloudNow Awards 2020, brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Now, here's Sonia Tagare. Hi, and welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Sonia Tagari, and we're on the ground at Facebook headquarters in Menlo Park, California, covering CloudNow's Top Women Entrepreneurs in Cloud Innovation Awards. Joining us today is Christine Heckert, CEO of Scalar. Christine, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. So you're receiving an award today for being one of the top women in cloud. Um, how do you feel about that? Oh, it's always terrible to get an award. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I'm very honored to be here. Awesome. Um, so give us a little brief overview of your background. Oh, 30 years in tech. Um, let's see, now I'm CEO of Scalar. So we're a log analytics company. We scale to over 100 terabytes a day in the cloud at ridiculously affordable prices. And we serve some of the best tech companies in the world. We sell into engineers and developers. And so you've been CEO for over a year now. What's that experience been like? What challenges have you faced along the way? Uh, exhilarating experience if you've never been at a startup. Um, it's a great place to be. It's a phenomenal team. Challenges are all about how you grow and how you serve customers well on a limited set of resource with unlimited choice sets and opportunities. And that's a hard thing to do. So you've been an executive for quite a while now. Uh, what's the best part about being a CEO? The people are the best part, um, both the employees. We have some incredible employees, very energized about the mission, very dedicated. Uh, and then absolutely amazing customers that we serve. These, you know, we serve engineers. We're by a company by engineers for engineers. And engineers innovate to change the world. And our job is to help them innovate with more confidence so they can change the world more quickly. And so you're feeding into all these incredible missions around the world with these incredible people and you're helping them do their job better. And it's just every day is different and every day is fun. So what are the, some of the things that have influenced you along the way or some of the people who have influenced you? Jeez, um, you know, I guess I'm influenced mostly by the people who I've worked with and who have worked for me, um, even more so maybe than the people I've worked for, although they've also been fabulous. Um, I just think you learn from, you learn from all the talent around you and the way people think differently about problems and, and how that synergy um, often creates just magical outcomes. So as a CEO, um, what kind of workplace culture are you striving to achieve? Uh, we have picked just one value, and there are other companies that I think are doing the same, and the value we picked is care. And so we really strive to have a culture that encourages people to care about each other and care about the company's mission, uh, care about serving customers well and, and building a very high quality product with great experience, but also care about the environment and care about the community and care about people's lives outside of the day-to-day -day work job. Um, so we try to take a really holistic view, but on one key attribute, which is care. Well, that's, that's awesome. I think everyone wants to go to work and, and just feel like, you know, that they're not bogged down by long hours or that they're not oh, feeling appreciated. We still have long hours. Oh. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. But it's caring long hours. Right, right. <laughs> they're appreciated. Yeah. Um, so what advice would you give to women who are considering a career in tech? I love tech. I've been 30 years in tech. I go out of my way to get people into the industry. Um, I do believe in all of its facets, it's the greatest industry in the history of history. I really do believe that. It's also a hard place to work. It's a demanding place to work. Um, it's still a hard place to work for women um, and any, I think, kind of minority. Uh, it's not as welcoming yet as it could be. But relative to 10 or 20 or 30 years ago, we've made enormous progress. I still believe we are making uh, enormous progress. And there's work to go, but it's very encouraging. That's great. Um, so um, after being in the industry for a while, have you figured out a work-life balance? Is there a secret? Is it a myth? Um, I am not the person to ask about work-life balance, for sure. Uh, most people would probably say, I don't have it. Um, I don't look at it as balanced so much as um, 
maybe juggling, like you just prioritize what's important in the moment. Um, I do believe, that, and that one of the great things about tech is usually you can do your job anytime from anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that has good and bad, so I tend to do my job all times everywhere, <laughs> but you can do your job all times everywhere, and, and sometimes that's from home, and sometimes that's from other places, you know, anywhere around the world. And I'm sure, especially as like, you know, moms and stuff, like it's, it's great to have that flexibility. Right. Um, right. And um, so, okay, so as a CEO, what do you think makes you a great leader? Um, I think any great leader is a leader who cares about their mission and their employees uh, as people and not just as workers um, and their customers as people and their their holistic careers and their lives, not just as a source of revenue. So that's one of the reasons why we picked that value care is that, you know, it's super important for any leader at any level. What do you think leaders can do to, to make, uh, make it more welcoming for women in tech to be part of this industry? Um, it's not, this is not a question about women or any, anybody in particular. What people value is being appreciated and being included and being heard. That's it. Like if you, if, if you can create an environment that is inclusive where people can be heard and can be valued for what they contribute and their ideas, then I think, you know, it's a great place to work. And, and, and that's a hard thing to do. It's, way, it's easy to say it's very hard to do culturally, um, but I, I really think it's that simple. Well, thank you so much, Christine, for being on The Cube. It's always great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. I'm Sonia Tagari. Thanks for watching The Cube. Stay tuned for more.